every time. We don't do no cap. Report only facts. Crackers report. We got the news. Knowing the views. We got the stats. Keep it a rack. Don't join the pack. Hi, my name is Peyton Moore, and I'm here with the Progress Report. The Progress Report. All right, what's going on? It's your girl, Lala Shepard. This is the Progress Report. Boss Brit, the most lit. What's up? It's your girl, DJ Excel. Hey, we mm -hmm. got our next guest in the building. Introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Peyton Moore. I'm a singer-songwriter. Yeah. Nice okay, to meet you, so Peyton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that on that. Well, Miss Peyton, where are you from? I'm born, I was born in California, but I'm from Atlanta. I'm from here. I've been here all my life. I moved here when I was two. So oh, I'm yeah. So, yeah. You I'm from Atlanta. Sure. You moved with your parents. Like, what was, why did they move to Atlanta from Cali? Because Cali's like, you be thinking like Atlanta, Cali. Like, two totally Depending different. on what part of Cali yeah, was. was. What part of Cali right, was right, it? Right, right. Um, I'm from San Fernando. I was born in the Valley. So, oh, it wasn't okay. like, it wasn't like downtown LA. Okay, but, okay, okay. Yeah, um. My dad was actually traveling a lot because he actually played in the NBA. So okay. we moved here. And then my mom wanted a fresh start, too. Things are getting toxic in California. So, I feel that. so what's your dad's name? Mikey Moore. What's he your dad? Like Michael anymore. Jordan? Like. Oh. <laughs> 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 interview Michael Jordan's daughter. Right. <laughs> it's no, for real. The, the interview's off. Nah, <laughs> not Mike. That that. Nah, that's, that's dope, though. That's dope, though. So, um, okay. So, how you like, do you ever go back to Cali? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. When I first moved here, uh, we were going back and forth. I was actually going to move back, but um, I got into this fancy private school, so we stayed. So, okay. Yeah. Dope. Um, I met you at a party. Mm -hmm. Your girl was uh, doing photos and a stuff. A party? Our party. The party. The party. Oh, come on. We got to like, get, get it right. Party. We got to get it right. Talking about yeah. a party. I'm yeah. dead. Yeah. No, no, like, what party was I, it? The party. Well, I met her at a party, and it was funny because, like, she was, like, chilling. Yeah. Like, like, Humble yeah. as fuck. Yeah, she was, like, this not really my scene. And I'm, mm. like, you know, she's, like, I'm really in the studio. So then, okay. like, we talked more. Um, and then I listened to some of your music, and I'm like, yo, she's really dope. Okay. Uh, sing, sing. But yeah. you seem really low key too. Mm -hmm. Like you seem like one of those yeah. artist artists. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, artist, you facts. know, like the artists that don't got to like be out sell too much. One, yeah. Like, yeah. So, well, a few of our friends yeah. actually knew who you were. Like when we oh, put yeah. the flyer out there, they were like, that's my, I like her. That's yeah. She's dope. Yeah. 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 So, somebody yeah. was like, yo, my goal I'm is to do a song with her. So wow. Yeah. That's so sweet. Yeah. Parties. I don't know. It's like they're not my scene, but they are. Like if it's like my friend's birthday, <clears throat> duh, I'm gonna yeah. go. But it's like just voluntarily every weekend. It's like yeah, nah, I, I, I just can't. It's just draining. I just are you like a it. summer walker kind of right. like awkward? That's, uh, no. Okay. No. Why you gotta say awkward? I don't. I don't have walker is, introvert. Is she introvert. She's an introvert. I was. I'm She's a awkward. social introvert, but okay. I don't have um, anxiety. I don't have social anxiety. No. It's okay. just I don't know. It's not your scene. It's, not it's just thing. not my scene. Yeah, yeah. I, I just don't really get excited yeah. going to parties every weekend. But you know, sometimes, some days, you do need to go have some fun, get out the house. Mm -hmm. But I just have more fun in my room, That's recording cool. music. I'm a Taurus. Oh, yeah. That's just Capricorn saying. Oh, no. oh, 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 okay. Look, okay. you want to bring right. some light to your? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's. I get it. It's okay. up, Aquarius season. So can um, yeah, I know. Like so I can we it. talk about uh, like um you know your growth and it seems like you have a really good following mm -hmm. you know and what you have done to do that because like nowadays people are getting these followings and i might be wrong because i've just followed you probably like, mm -hmm. like two three months ago got you know really met you like organically but it seems like a lot of people grow these followings by putting out like their business and mm -hmm. it seemed like when like going to your page you seem real like you know i like my business okay i'm not gonna lie um i don't mind people being in my circle, my bubble, because I, I feel like it's important to be vulnerable, mm -hmm. but I don't like people in my business too much. I just don't feel like things that I go through, breakups or who I'm with, like, I just don't think that that matters. I feel like when you open a door with stuff like that, then people feel obligated to know what's going on in your life. And I don't like that. It's mm -hmm. like, I'd rather have my privacy. But um, huh, I've been singing for a long time. So um, I've always been singing. I don't remember a time I didn't sing. But wow. I remember when I was eight, my mom put me in singing lessons because she was like, wow. well, you work in Willow, so I'm some. So. Listen, okay. I don't know. Yeah, my baby yeah. cry. Let my baby okay. cry. And okay. okay. cry and it We're sound. going to class. Right, right. <laughs> But, um, yeah, period. but then it got too expensive, so oh. I stopped when I was like nine. I only did it for a year. I did piano lessons too, but 
Um, then I started teaching myself, and that's what I've been doing since then. But um, when I was about 13, I got in a group, and that's when my followers accumulated during that time. What because group was that? You want to talk three about it? If you don't want to talk about it, like, no, no, no. Uh, I'm not ashamed of it. It's just I was really young. I was so young. But um, see the girls. Damn, it's called uh, it's called Charm. 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 Yeah, That's we are name. Charm. It's yeah, it was it was cute. Name. It was really good. I got a lot of opportunities from that group. I met a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I met um, Jazzy Faye Timbaland. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a legend right there. Yeah, he's with, like, he's um, notorious for working with female groups, period. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's so ex. cool, too. He's mm -hmm. so cool. But, yeah, that um, group opened a lot of doors for me. Okay. So, And a lot that's of dope. followers that I do have are from me being in that group. So, When okay. you were 13? Mm -hmm. Damn. I was 13. I got out Young of it when hell. I was, like, 16, I think. Okay. 16, oh, 17. Wow. I was, like, I'm a solo artist. So, what made, so were you, do you feel like you're meant to be solo? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, not that I don't fit in a group. It's just... I like working by myself, I feel like, and um, it's, it was a lot of girls in the group, too. It was five people. Oh, and then, like I said, I started when I was 13. So yeah. by the time I'm 16, going on 17, it's like, uh, kind of do my own thing Puberty. Now. But it was no oh. bad blood. <laughs> what? I mean, like, you go through your own yeah. shit, yeah. you know? But there was no bad blood about it at yeah. all. Yeah. yeah, every girl does their own thing now who was in the group, so yeah. it's pretty cool, too. What are some things you learned from being in the group? Um, Patience. Patience and hard work because this industry really isn't easy. And it's people think that it is and they get into it thinking that, like, <laughs> the audience. The audience. The audience. we got to start the show by saying we have a live audience. You know how? <laughs> Disclaimer. But, no, um, ahead, sorry. yeah, it taught me patience and hard work, a good hard work ethic because mm. the practice that goes into performances and live performances or just being in the studio on recording it's not it's not as easy as everybody thinks mm -hmm. especially if you recorded the same thing for the 150th time it's like mm -hmm. i'm tired of this shit but no that's true that's what i learned in that group also learn hmm <laughs> what else have i learned in that group to be social i'm already social but it helped me um get myself out there a little bit more yeah. Um, and it's, I learned a lot about music too, being in that group because that's the first time I really started like getting in the studio, and I started to learn like how to record myself and Dumb. yeah, vocal arrangements, all of that because we had lessons and stuff. So, so what would you say to somebody? Because a lot of people think if you have a pretty face and you can sing, <laughs> that it's easy. And a lot of hmm. artists, we've seen a lot of artists that's like still on the come up that have to put in a lot of work. Mm -hmm. What would you say to somebody that says that? And do you think it really takes the, ta the talent speaks for itself or what? Um, yes, the talent does speak for itself. But that sucks. There's a lot of talented people out here that yeah. don't get the hype. That's mm. right. But I would say my advice would be to always think about the bigger picture and longevity. Because just because you're pretty and you pop in in a moment doesn't mean that you're going to be popping in the next mm -hmm. two, five, six years. Right. And I don't know, that just hasn't always been my goal to be popping. I just want to share my music. And I feel like mm. when it all comes down to like the root of why you're doing what you're doing, that's all that matters. Because okay. if people gonna vibe with my music, they gonna vibe with it for however long. It don't matter if I'm popping or not. But, Facts. but I think that organic stuff is this that's longevity. The wave right period. now, yeah, yeah period, that's period, definitely period, the wave period, right now. And, and getting people to like relate to you. Mm -hmm. right. So are you signed? No, I'm not signed. Okay. I don't even have a manager. I've been doing really? this all by myself. And yeah. are you interested in that or like? Except what's... about the manager. No, no, no. I'm just saying. I mean, because Lala it's... does PR. We can no, she does do things. PR, and um, like a team definitely helps. But I'm just like yeah. curious because a lot of people we um talk to, wow. you know, they're not signed and yeah. so not yet, not yet, not yet. Because yeah. I swear, literally, before look, everybody come on the show and mm -hmm. shit just seems to happen when they leave. Yeah. I swear, Thank they you. made progress. Yeah. Have you been in like bad situations? With management as far as why you are mm. not with anyone right now not necessarily bad um situations it's been you go through ups and downs with people period mm. and especially in the industry when things don't work out it's, it just don't work out and you can cut the ties or move forward from it and leave it where it was mm. but um no i haven't really been through anything bad before but as far as being signed i would like a manager because mm. i just feel like I can't do everything by of myself. And I think it's it takes away this. Yeah, yeah, I think it takes yeah. away from and the creators. That's, that's their job, mm -hmm. managers. They do what they're supposed to do. But as far as being signed, mm. it's a new day, though. And, I don't know. And it's crazy. Like, when you already have a following, 
So sometimes it's like, is it worth, worth it? But it. then right, they can right, put right, you right. on certain platforms mm -hmm. that, That's like, true. you know, that you, it's very, very hard to get on by yourself. Right. That's a good um, point now. So I, I remember when well, we were talking. Right. <laughs> Taking notes, like, hey, you I remember when we were talking, you were saying, like, you were focused on dropping singles. Mm -hmm. So, and which is kind of like the wave now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Where I think you said you wasn't really focused on, like, no. albums. Yeah. yeah. The only reason why I'm not focused on an album is because I just feel like albums are shouldn't be treated lightly. Like that's a mm -hmm. whole masterpiece. That's something mm -hmm. that you take True. years on at mm -hmm. least to perfect it and however you want it to be to like literally embody who you are in your artistry. So I just want to make sure because I feel like I'm still early on into my career and I'm finding my sound. So I don't want to rush an album when I'm not even like fully mm. into my sound. So mm. I don't I just don't want to rush anything. That's something else I've learned too because it's always going to you always going to have time. It's better to wait and put something out that's has value rather than rushing and put something out. So you seem like one of them artists that You're don't. Very well spoken yeah, too. I love it. I love that it. don't have sure. to put out a thousand. Because there's some artists that have to put out a thousand, and there's some yeah. that have that following. Like when your music speaks for yourself, facts. And I like your the vibe of your music and stuff. Is like it's, it has a good feeling to it. Mm. So it's yeah, one of really it's sing. one of them things that just you know I think mm -hmm. that people will look forward to whatever you drop. So that's really dope. Yeah. Mm. Who are some artists you look up to? Uh, um, I definitely look up to Summer Walker. I love Summer Walker. She's really dope. For right, right. new and upcoming artists, I yeah. love Summer Walker. Respect. Um, Lala over. Lala's like, I she said is, respect. But, but respect. You beat the shit. That's like, like yeah. No, yeah, we're issues. No, I respect you. that Summer Walker Drake. actually is talking about, like, which, because I yeah. can respect what you I, are, because people too. think that you, because you do really good music, that you. Don't go through shit. Yeah, and like I get she it. said, like touring and all that stuff. Like that's a lot of energy. Like I get mm -hmm. it, but that's also as an artist, though. I think performance and stuff makes people real fans too. Yeah. Where you said like you I try agree. to perfect Easy. that. I'd have been to yeah. a concert, like, didn't like somebody, then after the concert, I you was fuck a fan. with them yeah. straight mm -hmm. up, real shit. So do you do yeah. concerts and all? That? I have done shows, but as far as concerts, no, I haven't done concerts. But that's something that I do want to focus on this year. Okay, but um. Yeah, I haven't done, from being a solo artist, no, but I went, when I was in the group, yeah, I did concerts. Um, we toured a little bit with Mind's Behavior. Oh, no. Um, Y'all was, was doing dances 13. and stuff, too? Y'all was Ooh, like. child. We was doing a whole choreography. Please don't go look it up. We about to. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Definitely on now. Tom X. Right. Uh, Mindless no, Behavior. No, no, no. But. <laughs> You didn't yeah. finish telling telling yeah. us who you was looking up to. Walker, yeah. Oh, Drake. Drake. I yeah. heard my dad. Look, 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 I could, wait. I could have not. That's dope. Drake. That's dope because yeah. Drake has that. Drake is that guy. Yeah. Frank Ocean. Okay. It's, it's crazy because I actually look up more to male artists. I don't know what it is about men that can sing, mm. but... It, it just hit different, in my opinion. But mm. Usher is literally my phenomenal. Oh, right. Top. Yeah, have you worked? Nice. With, have you met him through no. Jazzy? Fed? No, but mm. it's crazy because um, my auntie is the R. Um, she's an RA at RCA Records. Oh shit! And she she also does like um, radio, like traveling with like uh, setting up radio. Um, oh, that's hard interviews and stuff but that was one of her artists and every wow. single time T -T. yeah i'll be trying i'll be trying i really do but no it's all about timing it's timing. crazy but right, right right i was close to beating him so many times so you will you gonna yeah meet him. i will right meet him. i will right. facts 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 it's i learned that from her because she used to always facts. tell me like because like when i like first moved out here like i'll be excited to meet somebody and i mm -hmm. feel like i got introduced myself and and really it don't feel organic mm -hmm. right so I love, like, she's like, yo, it's going to come back around. And then around. she met me. And, yeah. like, 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 Lala told her, just stay patient and she'll be. Lala, was, I mean, Buzz Bear was on my oh, heels. Shit. I'm like, I guess I'll she follow you on Hollywood when I'm at her. I'm DJ Excel, what you want, bro? Yeah. Like, That's a lot. No, we being silly. We just I know, I know. Timing but, is everything, y'all. Yeah, it definitely sure. is. Cause it's been times where he's come up to my job when I wasn't there uh, or my mom school. went to That's like crazy. top golf he was there I just didn't decide to go that day because I wanted to go to the studio mm. at least or, you're on the right path it's like yeah. you know you are right. yeah because I ain't never I was never about to meet Usher let's okay, just say I ain't, never ain't nobody <laughs> ain't just let my mama nothing yeah, yeah. Nothing. I don't even know what I would say but yeah that's another artist of course everybody looks up to Beyonce of course queen. and not even just for the uh oh uh oh uh oh oh no uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh no you have to turn it off oh no you have to turn it off oh no you have to turn it off oh 
don't know you have to turn Why it off. Why she do you like that? I don't know. Put up her own video. Ew. You were the lead singer? No. Okay. It wasn't, and that's another thing. It wasn't like that either. Like, okay. There was no lead. It was, everybody like played there. Y'all had like five verses? Yes. <laughs> so long as fuck. Yeah, y'all minutes. can't do that. Y'all can't do that in 2020. That's what I'm Amen. saying. Like, yeah. I gotta do my solo. Yeah. Thing, That's dope, though. But yeah. Lauren, I mean, Lauren Hill. Yes, I love Lauren. Of course. Hill. What about Badu? Yes, but I'm only 19. So okay. I didn't really. Get I respect to experience, you for saying that. I yeah, respect I didn't get to experience you. I respect as much that. As Erica Badu, but definitely grew up in a house of listening to Erica Badu. Respect. But, yeah. That's dope. Yeah. Mother. So, <laughs> so, so uh what's like anything that you working on in the future or um yes i am building a plethora of music for my um just not necessarily my portfolio but just for myself so I, when i do drop or when i come up with an album i have options mm. but that's my main focus i just want to literally create as much music as i can mm. to the point where it's like okay it's time to drop some music but yeah. um this year i'm focusing on Dropping music, I definitely want to do a lot more visuals, photo shoots, and I was going to ask you about the visuals too. We mm-hmm. need to see some visuals. Yes. Come on, definitely. yeah, because it seems like the people are there, um, mm-hmm. and you seem very organic with your music. Right. So I think like everything's going to happen, mm-hmm. like how you said, patience mm-hmm. and time, and like you said, you're so young already. Yeah. Um, I think you're in the right way, yes. and you already you're building the music, mm-hmm. so the other stuff. That's Even if you're not perfection at that, once you get yeah. th- your team, you're going to take off. So mm-hmm. we um we rock support. with you, yeah. yeah we As support. a um, songwriter, right. are you looking to get like placements? Mm. She like yes. how keeping this shit, from but <laughs> yeah, yes. But <laughs> I don't know. That's, that would just wouldn't be a main main goal. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. yes, but I also do like to have like other writers in my sessions too because mm-hmm. I'm big on collaboration. Period. Because. It's a lot of times where you'll write a song and like you just never know what somebody else can possibly take it to or mm. something that, that they hear that you don't hear. Mm. But mostly I, I write my music, but there has been times where I've had people um, that I um, collab with. So that's pretty fun and cool. So And it's dope you say that it's because right. people a be lot so of people, sensitive yeah, like people, like even, people, even like, when Drake, Drake was recently interviewed yeah. in an interview and he was saying like, everybody do that it shit. take it mm. take people to to make yeah, something, do it. something yeah, great really, and literally. sometimes you gotta be outside of yourself and be like yo this not just about me yeah. let's just make something great because this For is going it's, it's always a bigger facts. picture yeah. always right. a bigger picture yeah so the greatest dope. hits weren't even written by oh, the, 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 the artist that sang I'll be them, shocked. So. Like, wow, I would have never, like, yeah. when you go down to the writer's credits, I'd be For like, real. damn, I would have mm-hmm. thought, never yeah. would have thought. But, but I, I do never think it is R. important. Kelly wrote this one. I can't stand right. when I see his name on some shit. Damn it! I'm like, what the fuck damn is this? That's a whole mm-hmm. nother combo, guys. <laughs> no, right. For real. We ain't gonna bring him but, up. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I do think it is important to write your own music, though. I agree with It makes it more personal, boy. Facts, I agree with that now. But nah, nah, but we really appreciate you, and uh, we look forward to hearing more from you. Yeah, yes, you I think you're very will. well spoken. You know, Thank especially you. to only be 19. Like, I, I can't wait to see, you know. Yeah, you yes. I wish I was 19 title. again. I would do a whole lot of okay. shit. Right now, yeah. you do a whole lot. Right now, wait a minute, y'all. We got to right, ask her the infamous question. Yes, what does sir. the word progress mean to you? And please don't use uh, the word it's progress okay. in your definition. It's okay. She tried. It's, you gotta, it's what she what To she progress, you got to have to progress. Okay. Right. Ask, yeah. Answer that joint. Progress is the choice to keep going no matter how hard it gets or how easy it might be Mm because you're always going to run into something. But progress is you not succeeding just from good things. You're succeeding from bad things that you've Mm. went through, troubling things that you've been through, and just choosing to keep endurance and keep going. I, I like, like you, that. man. Yeah, that's dope. Thank you. Yeah, you, know, you Real know. shit. You and you, I think you you're the first one going. that said like, even learn from like the your bad. mistakes Real because shit. you you learn way more from People your mistakes. Way more. You progress good. more from yeah. your mistakes. You than really your do. Absolutely. Yeah. Or oh, you yeah. should you progress should. more. Right. Facts. You should. Yes. Facts. Yeah. But no, you dope. You got a gray head Thank on your shoulder. You. you definitely got our support. And um, I'm definitely going to do my due diligence in checking out your music and shit, okay? Please. Thank you. You get an inbox and say, you need a manager. It's going to be me, okay? Yeah. She's good at what she out. do. Shit. I'm gonna say, I'll be looking out. Oh, shit. Yeah. P.I. Right. Right. Not All opposed. For sure. Well, let them know your social media. Spell it for them, too, so they can find you. Yes, because everybody spelled my name wrong. I'm sure. So <laughs> my Instagram is Peyton More Music. My name is spelled P-A-Y-T-O-N-M-O-O-R-E Music. And then on Twitter, it's Peyton M Music. 
And um, that's about all the social media that I use. You can follow me on Snapchat at the Real Payton More. But yep, that's about it. And my music, you can find a link to my Instagram. But if you look at me up on Apple Music, Spotify, or Title, it'll be under Payton More. Dope. Dope. Okay. Yeah. Well, we appreciate your time. Thank you guys for having <laughs> me. Absolutely. I enjoyed. Thank you. Why were you going crazy? Crazy.